The next lesson on index of refraction is apparent depth. So if a person is looking at the surface of the water and they see something underneath the water, we'll probably not get to see the actual depth because of the refraction of light. So let's take a look at this example here. So you've got this object here. And there's light coming off of it being reflected and it's coming up to the surface when it reaches the barrier between water and air it's going to get refracted outwards and this is going to happen because the index of refraction of air is less than the index of refraction of water and light is going to touch the eye but the eye is going to trace it back and think that the light ray came from over here so it's going to have a picture in the mind that the object is actually here instead so what's happening here? Well, the actual depth of the object is dr, depth real. But the apparent depth, what the human eye sees, is going to be known as the dA here. And A is the distance from the surface of where the light ray comes out to the actual object. And again, and that won't be very far. So this is drawn larger than what it's actually going to be. So let's use Snell's law. Let's take one light ray coming off of the object, reaching up, hitting the surface here and being refracted. Well, Snell's law would be n water sine theta incident. And notice how we draw the normal here. Angle of incident is right here. Equals n air, which is 1, times the sine of theta of r, which is your refracted angle here. Again, relative to the normal. So let's solve this for n water. The index of refraction of water will divide both sides by the sine of the angle incident. And here it is. It's going to equal sine of theta refracted over the sine of the incident angle. Now remember, an air is 1, so that's no longer here. That's a 1. Now really, this is going to be pretty small angles here. Again, draw much larger so we can see it clearly. So for small angles, the sine of theta is equal to tangent of theta. So really, if we substitute it in, the n water is going to be the tangent of the refracted angle divided by the tangent of the incident angle. Now, what are the tangents equal to? Well, tangent of the incident angle is going to be A over dr. So if we can imagine, here's our triangle like this. Okay. The actual depth is right here. Here's our incident angle. And this is going to be our A, our distance here. Okay, so tangent is going to be opposite, which is your A, over the actual depth there. Let's take a look at the refracted angle. Well, again, a refracted angle is going to be from this normal all the way to there. And it's going to map out this triangle here. I'm trying to draw a little dashed line here to show this triangle here. Okay. So again, it's going to be equal to the tangent of theta is going to equal A this time divided by the apparent depth. If you look at this triangle here, and here is our refracted angle. I'll add just a little bit more so as you can see it. It's a little bit larger angle there. Refracted angle here, refracted angle there, and here's our triangle. This is apparent depth. This is A. Okay, so now if we substitute that in there, uh, this doesn't show it, so let's do that. So we're going to say N water is equal to, okay, so the tangent of theta refracted is uh, A divided by DA. So here I go. A divided by the apparent depth divided by A and divided by dr. And of course the A's will cross off and dr is going to come up on top because remember that was dividing twice there like. So we get N water is uh, the real depth divided by the apparent depth. And just to kind of give you an idea, N water is usually about 1.33. So we've got 1.33 is equal to the real depth divided by the apparent depth. So in general though, if I take this to the other side and take that over there, the apparent depth, dA, is going to equal the real depth divided by 1.33. So I guess your eyes are going to be tricked if you see an actual object is what, one meter below the surface, you're going to be about 33% off of that. You're going to think that it's up higher. Okay, because of the refraction of water. And that's how we deal with apparent depth.